Skylab was America's first ever space station, and I'm going to show you a full-scale mock-up which was used in the Neutral Buoyancy Lab, which was a tank where the astronauts practiced doing spacewalks. It's so cool, and I'm going to teach you all about it. Hey, it's John Williams. I am standing in front of, you guessed it, Skylab. Skylab was America's first ever working space station. It was launched on the last ever Saturn V to ever fly. And it's basically a Saturn V third stage, as you can see right there, hollowed out but replaced with space station module, with a space station. It had experiments and life support, and it had beautiful windows. So if you come over here, you can see this big circular dish. This is not a radar dish. This is actually a telescope. And you can see a little astronaut there doing a spacewalk. So this would actually have four solar panels sticking out that would power the uh, telescope. And one astronaut would be in there um, conducting the experiments because it was not automated. So if we also come over here, we could see the Apollo capsule. Now, the Skylab program used four, four I mean, excuse me, three Saturn 1Bs to launch three Skylab crews into space. And then they docked with the Skylab module right there, as you can see. So this thing, this command module, this command module itself was built for, I'm sorry, each of these command modules were built for Apollos 18, 19, and 20, and 21. So we used them for this and for the Apollo Soyuz test project. If you look right in there, you could see that this telescope mount was actually on a hinge. And what this mount would do is it would hinge forward like this. So it would be where this Apollo capsule is right now in launch configuration. So I'll show you a picture of the Skylab Saturn V launch vehicle right now. And that's how it sat. This telescope mount was right over here. Now that we're over here, you can see a little bit more of what makes Skylab. Skylab. You can see these oxygen modules right here that held the oxygen and the life support systems. And you can see the airlock pathway that the astronauts went through to get from the telescope mount and the Apollo capsule into the main Skylab. It's really cool. Now, if you also come over here, you could see the outer shell of Skylab. This right here was made of the parts that made up the Saturn V third stage. It's a really amazing way that they were able to do this without spending a little too much money. Because this was part of the Apollo applications program after the Apollo program was canceled, they wanted to find a use with all this. So yep, you come over here and we're at the back of Skylab. This is where a lot of technology can be seen. This was also where there was a big window on the real Skylab and where the astronauts were inside this basically this was basically the um, fuel tank. So they were basically inside the fuel tank doing all their experiments. So if you also come over here, you can see all these pieces of wiring and it just shows you how complicated this stuff is. It's beyond, it's beyond the human brain to think of how much, how much um, programming went into making this a reality. So this huge Skylab mock-up was actually real technology that was used in the neutral buoyancy lab where the Skylab astronauts trained to fix Skylab after its uh, horrific launch. I'll make a video about that. And it's where they trained to just do all their experiments and EVAs, as you can see in this photo. Very cool. And this is the exact model. Now, the Apollo capsule you see here was not actually used. It was probably just a aerodynamic test vehicle, but it's amazing. So if we also come over here, we can see Skylab when it was in orbit. As I said, there were four solar panels over here. Each of those were providing power to the telescope right here. It's where the astronauts would exit usually. And this right here is a replacement meteorite and radiation shield. You see, when Skylab went up, the aerodynamic pressures were able to rip off a meteorite shield, like basically one half of the station's basic whole wall. And then the astronauts had to come up and manually put a homemade one up on Skylab to prevent the station from being breached. And it also had two solar panels. One was ripped off during the launch. 
pretty horrific. And then we have Mr. Owen Garriott, who was a doctor, and he went up on the Skylab. He went up on one of the Skylab missions. And then we have the EVA right here using the Skylab suit, which means all their life support would be in the front and their chest. When on the Apollo missions, it was on their backpack. So yeah, really amazing stuff. And here's the launch vehicle right here. You have the normal first and third, second stage, and then you have Skylab, which is basically the third stage. This was Apollo. This was the Apollo 18 rocket that was actually going to take the Apollo 18 astronauts to the moon. But we used it for Skylab, and I'm glad we did. We learned so much from it, and we set many world records. Please subscribe, share our videos, and excitement about space with everyone.